what's going on everybody dj goham here welcome back to the channel it's farm some no baby hashtag farm some no today we've got 28 pc mods and testing we got 25 console mods and testing with all those 24 mods were released today a transformer has been found in the grill of the tlx 9000 Matrid is updating the roadrunner plus agritono has a new planter farm central soul has a new new holland holland ga modding's john deere is almost complete lr modding update us on the progress of their case ih Kalaruga modding are testing their camara bell trailer cm mods has a new fence dash modding updates us on not one not two not three but i think four things mrg mapping has updated marksville tnt modding talks about the update to bucks county white bull modding have a new screenshot of their new map richport plus mappers paradise are back what's going on let's check it out it's st4 pc we have argus 870 case age afs connect steiger series arena 2700 air schultz then favorite 500 legal bell fork game fit house pack heath super chaser qm extra john deere 750a cokerling sterno pack l116 lightweight maxian 9000 series mod test map modern polish house more contracts mx front loaders and tools pack photo mode player position saver precision farming add-on i have been told that this is not a mod by giants but a third party mod just like everything else on this list and will probably expand the functionality of the dlc also in testing for pc we have progressive steering pronar t680p robert drb seeds shed sleep anytime sugar bead loader and tools combo in testing for console we have the brent avalanche 2596 double door garage fiat 180 brazil gvs 6u implement shed pack large pull through garage pack lizard 3000 lizard coral 20000 l lizard ct 6500 lizard sirocco lizard suncut pack massey ferguson 7700 s medium pull through workshop with lift metal tech pp pack modern decorative house multi fruit silo new holland cr 690 old polish house pickup 1969 brazil polish wells shoot a maker rapid pack shoot a maker siwa pack self-made 800 kilogram weight the angevin countryside and the t LX 48 foot enclosed trailer. With all that being said, we still have 101 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is five work days. In addition to the mods and testing, 24 new and updated mods were released today on the end game mod hub. I've already made a video showing these off. You can find that video linked in the description below. Starting off with today's top stories, and our first one comes from 82 Studio Mr. David himself. He says that the TLX 9000 semi has had a bit of an issue. Well, maybe not an issue, but and I got a little bit of trouble. They say, we couldn't certify your mod. Please review your mod. The certification report was, we got an abusive mail about a Transformers logo for your live mod. So we must remove it for consoles. You know the rules for vans and licensing, so please remove it. So what has happened here? Well, the TLX 9000, as you may or may not know, have been holding this secret for a while now. When you roll the windows down, a Transformers logo pops up in the grill. So if you are on console, if you're on PC, if you have the TLX 9000 downloaded, go uh, load it in real quick, roll your windows down, and a Transformers logo will appear at the front. Now this has been here as far as I can remember, but he's gonna have to remove it, unfortunately. He knows this and he knows why. So in the next update for the TLX 9000 semi-truck, there will be no more Transformers logo on the front. So do keep that in mind. I want to thank the guys over on the DJ Goham Discord for sending over these screenshots. Love you guys. Thank you. Mantrid says that the Roadrunner Plus is going to be getting another update. So he says beacons are now optionally smaller or gone completely. The spotlights are reconfigurable, so the front can go above the wheel arch and the back can disappear to be replaced via the standard quad reverse lights. The radiator fan is color selectable or gone entirely if you wish. Other fixes include stability fix when hauling heavy trailers, problem introduced with the previous update. Says the update should hit the mod hub in the next few days. Agritono says their Stara Prima 4590 is ready and sent off for testing. Says it does have a transport mode, just like some of the other planters that we're getting recently, as well as markers and the options for single or balloon tires. This both can be normal or even inverted. Looks like we're going to be getting another cabless New Holland, or rather they cab over New Holland kind of thing. This is from Sarah Farm Citrus Soul, and they say the New Holland TL series 
final fitting. So looks like this is going to be in its final completion, hopefully sent off for testing soon. It's been a few days since we've seen JA Monning and their new John Deere disc arrow. They say, well, today, good news, the model is ready to go. The model contains effects which have animations on the pressure watch, and when the model rises, the pressure rises too. Model already contains its dynamic hoses, so it will be on Mod Hub hopefully soon. Another model that looks to be coming along nicely is LR Modding. They say that their K Speed Tiller 475 or the 41 foot version is already in game and ready to work. This is the PC version. They say, as far as progress goes, model 100%, texture 100%. In game 100% and dynamic hoses 100%. Looks to be going through internal testing now. Something else in internal testing right now is Kalaruga Mining and their PF65 Camara platform bell trailer. We talked about this a little bit yesterday and a few days ago. This is a, a mod that's been made for all platforms to match your Kalaruga stuff in game. They say another trip testing on all platforms. This occasion with square bells. Hopefully, this is something else that will be released soon. When I say release soon, maybe sent off to Giants soon. See ya, Mods has been going for a little while, taking a bit of a break, and is now back working on models. They say making some damaged fences for their next placeable mod. Starting small as they get back into things bigger and better projects will be coming in the future. Dash Modding's got some updates for us today. He says he hopes you had a good weekend, as I do as well. He says the Implement Shed Pack has been sent off to Giants with the required changes, so let's hope it gets released this week. Additionally, he has revisited the Workshop Pack and has corrected some collision issues that he was made aware of. He has also submitted the update to Giants for testing as well. And he is also currently working on the update to the Large Pull Through Garage Pack to correct a few cosmetic items, as well as adding his brand to it so that you can easily locate it with the rest of his mods in game via the shop brands under the tab dm and he says after all that is done and sent off to giants for testing he will be returning to work on the house project that we talked about a few weeks ago though he says there's still a long way to go on that one yesterday mrg mapping released an update to marksville now this is a pc only map will not be coming to console uh this version is version number two of marksville wisconsin he has fixed the crashing, crashing issue with some of the cow yards. Additionally, he fixed some collisions with invisible objects on the map. Food spill areas no longer need to be cleared. If your bales are coming out too large, it's likely due to a modded baler that has changed the bale size. It says if the cell points are disappearing, this is possibly due to Global Company, Maze Plus, or Straw Harvest. And I will tell you guys, I actually loaded into this last night with Globe Company. Yes, I have it installed now. Maze Plus and Straw Harvest all to give this a try. And I was having issues with all. So just be careful when you're doing that. You will need to unzip this when you download it. TNT Modding's with us today with an update on Bucks County. It says it did not pass certification, but was sent back to him. It says it was a little fixed with just checking a box, but apparently it was causing consoles to crash if not checked. Oh my goodness. He says this has been fixed and resubmitted to Giants for testing. He does apologize for the delay and thanks everyone for their patience i will tell you just like you guys i am awaiting this <laughs> eagerly as well because i'm waiting on bucks county to be released for all platforms at least the update so that i can return to the gameplay on bucks county as far as i know this is the last update on bucks county i also want to thank tnt modding for joining myself in clutch simulations on friday for the farm sim show what a what an amazing awesome pleasure it was to be able to work with you white bull modding say another day another photo on their new american map richport they say have you seen the video yet they have a new video on their youtube channel i will link that below so make sure you check that out beside white bull y t in the screenshot today you can see the main silo on the farm we do have a shed on the right hand side and on the left we have the roadrunner in game with what looks to be possibly the wilson pace setter this is going to be an absolute massive project. I'm super, super excited to see what's next. And lastly, we hear from Mapper's Paradise for the first time in a few months, it feels like at this point. They say animal markets need to feel alive when you go there, and it's best to be not static either. Do you prefer it quiet or busy? Well, this is in reference to the new video that they put on their YouTube channel late last night. I want to thank Sassy Farmer for sending this over to me. Uh, I was actually on the road dropping off Trucker Matsy back in his truck last night, and I totally missed the video, so I was able to check this out this morning. What they've done is they've shown off a new animal placeable market type thing. Uh, it's on a flat map, so I'm not quite sure if this is a new map or anything like that that they're working on, but it does appear to be an animal market. It's actually really nice. You see the chickens moving around. There's pigs moving around as well. This is going to be real interesting. I'm going to leave a link to this down in the description below. They did link it with FS19, Xbox, 
PlayStation and Harvest as their uh, hashtags. So I'm real interested to see what this is all about. And I'm sure you guys are always interested in my bad segues to the ending. Just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There are no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just means that there's no information at the time of recording, at least no new information at the time of recording on those topics. Please refer to previous episodes for the most current status of those, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the Gohan fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. I'll be said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Trucker Matsy, I want him to come back.